Hello and welcome to the first ever jazz podcast video film preview. Is this, this is a podcast, so how can it be a video? Uh, you can do video podcasts. I've not seen that before. It's a thing. Isn't that a video blog or a vlog? No, it's on the podcast. You can just, some just have video. Okay, nice. Well, welcome to the first ever mm. episode. Today I'm joined by my guest, Rob Cope. Yes. Uh, welcome, Rob. Thanks for coming on. It's been a pleasure. No, no, it will be a pleasure. It will be a pleasure. It is a pleasure. It's, it's, it's present currently tense. right now. Present it's a pleasure. Tense. Um, so what, what are we, uh, what brings you over to my house in Godalme? Well, I thought I'd just come and see your new house. But then I thought, I'm here, we could make a great, like, one-off video version of the show. Great. So if you're just listening to the audio, thinking, mm-hmm. I can't see a video, well, you can't. You have to go on our Twitter or our Facebook group and yeah. you can find a, uh, what's it called? A link to the video. Yeah. And then you can watch the video. But great. if you're already listening to it, I might just stick it out. I mean, we're not know. that good looking. No. That's no. why we make it audio, audio in the only. first place. Yeah. yeah. So what a... Uh, what what brings you on the show today? Why have we why have we invited why have you invited yourself <laughs> onto the show? I've invited myself on because I wanted to tell you about the film that I'm making about Richard Turner. Great. So it's the first in a series of jazz films, or it might be the first and only in the series. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Um, but the idea being, when when we started the podcast, before we'd done any shows, we wrote a big list of like 150 people. We've often referred to it on the show as the big list. Mm. and we talked of potential guests of potential yeah. guests that we wanted to talk to yeah. we talked about doing a show for richard in his memory and it just didn't make sense to do it as an audio show mm. because anyone that was recalling anything about his life when you were listening to it you'd have no idea who's talking so very quickly the audio version went out the window mm. and then i thought we could do a video podcast but that just seems not enough somehow yeah. it's not sufficient enough to honor his memory so then the next obvious step was that i make a film yeah so who was richard turner he was a jazz trumpet player he studied at the royal academy and then after he graduated he started a, a venue of his own called the Concella bar in camden and it was a hugely successful mm. venue it's one of the most important venues in london for jazz and he had the fly trio with mark turner Jeff Ballard and and Larry Grenadier there. So Richard Mm. had a kind of outrageous magnetic personality. Like anyone who's got Mark Turner to play at their venue has that to start with. So I thought we would make a film. And in order to do so, I'd interview all his friends and his family, compile all of his music, all the pictures and videos of him and put it all together to create something that is fitting for his memory. Great. So now there is a Kickstarter because to make the film, it's a pretty small one. I've seen bigger ones for like a track of an album. Mm. Um, but the Kickstarter's for £3,000. is mm. on the Indiegogo website. So if you go on their website onto the search bar and you type in Richard Turner or Richard Turner film, then it comes straight up. Yeah. And it's actually on the homepage as well, if you go on the arts section. So, um. So that's how you're funding making the film? Yes. Okay. How much are you trying to raise? £3,000. Okay, great. What are you up to now? Well, 75%. So it's like 2,200-ish. Great. Yeah. So if people want to donate to help make you, help make the film, they should go to Indiegogo. Yeah. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Yeah. Search Richard Turner. Yeah. And your donation will be right there. What happens if you raise over three grand? We will put the money towards a scholarship that's given in his name at the Royal Academy. Great. And also, I was, well, you suggested it, Mm. putting money towards a charity um, like the British Heart Foundation, something that I'm going to ask Richard's mum, Christine, if there's anything in particular. Particular one, yeah. Um, But yeah, anything over what we spend on the film will definitely be spent yeah so people you know, if it charity. gets to three grand keep donating oh we should keep going great big time and the, raise some yeah money. thing is if you've ever wanted a copy of richard's album for instance you could just buy it through the kickstarter you essentially get the album for free and the money would go to charity so win-win yeah great so uh who's helping you make the the film how are you making it who's helping i am making it mostly alone until i get stuck 
So someone asked me the other day if I'd drawn the, the film poster myself, mm. which I was very touched by and found it hilarious. Cause I think me, we should see your yeah, version of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do that. That's a great idea. Great. Any more than a stick man for me is a big <laughs> deal. Um, no, your lovely wife, Lydia, actually, I commissioned her to, yeah. to create something, um, off of a photograph that was taken of him mm-hmm. a few years ago. Great. So. So Lydia's done the artwork. Lydia's done the well. artwork. Jake McLean is doing the, um, kind AKA of like, Jake Walker. AKA Jake Walker, um, who used to be a, a jazz drummer. Still is. He still is. Well, it's a big If you're really lucky, you will see Jake play, but it's like an eclipse. Yeah. Um, so Jake has been advising me on all of the camera equipment, um, to make the film look as professional as it's physically possible. Yeah. This isn't to just going to be selfie on your iPhone. No, there's no selfie sticks. Okay. Unlike the first jazz podcast trailer. There's oh yeah. No, we, there's yeah, no was wine. The last time we were yeah. on film, wasn't it? Yeah. That was really something. Yeah. But there's no wine this time. Great. Uh, so how long is it going to take you to make it? That's a very difficult question to answer, mm. but a really good question. I think it's going to take about. Have you maybe... started? No, you I'm going to start started. on. No, I'm starting on Wednesday. Yeah. So we're only 75% of the way there, but the opportunities to get the film done are already coming up. So Wednesday, the Royal Academy have given me permission to go in and film some work that's being done. Um, Barrett Schmuel has been arranging some of Richard's music for a project that he's Great. doing. So the chance to go and film that is too good to pass up. And then I'm actually really just completely by coincidence going to New York in a couple of weeks and staying super close to where John Escreet lives. Yeah. So I'm going to take my camera and interview him Brilliant. while I'm there. Yeah. So, so it's starting on Wednesday, regardless of like the rest of, the you know, yeah. Cause there's things that later down the line, like the original score, um, that can be paid for long after the interviews are done anyway. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's time to get to work. Who else is going to be on? Who else have you lined up for interviews? There's a lot of challenges with that because so many people were impacted by Richard. Mm. Um, that, um, once I ask someone, there's no way to undo that. Yeah. So, so, and because he's not here to referee who should and shouldn't be mm. on, it's something that I'm trying to do very, very slowly and carefully um as I kind of get to know him and his life story mm. better and better so so far I've asked John because yep. it's an amazing chance to go and see him and uh, Gerard presents up because he lives in in, in Denmark Copenhagen Copenhagen yeah. so for Gerard I asked him now because it's going to take ages yep, to, to line that up figure, yeah mm. exactly I'm just waiting for him to come to London yeah. basically <laughs> need Matt Fripp to get him a gig over here yeah exactly let's start a campaign <laughs> let's get Gerard a gig and then we can get that interview sorted great yeah cool so when uh, when do you think it's going to be finished then is it I think right now if in 18 months time that film was on YouTube because it will be free to watch when it's done mm-hmm. that I would be really pleased if I've gotten in that time all of the interviews the score and then quite a lot of work will be done editing of course mm-hmm. because there's not a great deal of stuff that already exists. I can't, there's no, there's no, uh, secret massive archive of home videos or mm. it must have just been before the selfie craze. Cause there's not really mm. many videos of him. Um, I found a lovely one that Eddie Hackett had, had filmed of Richard playing trumpet out on the street yeah. just a couple of weeks before he died. Um, but most of the footage in the film is going to have to be made yeah. and then edited, yeah. which I imagine will take quite a bit of time. Sure. So 12 months, 18 months something like that okay great but in the meantime have you got anything people can come along to oh that's a great question there's an amazing night going to happen on the 4th of august at the Concella bar um which is the venue richard started in camden um and it will be the band round trip which he started playing his music and some of the charts they found have been played like once or twice yeah. live um so the band that night will be um tom farmer on bass josh morrison on drums Mike Chillingworth on alto and Tom Challenger yeah. on tenor because Tom Challenger played in the band before Mike Chillingworth started it. So it's really nice because the four of them had all played in Round yeah. Trip. Great. So that night will be happening on the 4th of August and you can buy tickets to it now. The only place you can get tickets is on the Kickstarter the, or the crowdfunder on Indiegogo. Yeah. Um, and um, You're going to be filming it, aren't you? We're going to film it and we're going to have 
the University of Salford very kindly offered their media department Great. to help with the film. So I'm going to have a couple of film students and a lot of equipment kind of squeezed in the corner for that one. Perfect. Yeah, so it'll be really nice because anyone that has bought tickets will then be... In the film. In the film mm. and at the night to see it all unfolding. So it's kind of wonderful to have such a small project. We've been really lucky with the amount of donating that's happened because mm. the average donation for my 77 backers is £25. Brilliant, yeah. So I've raised £2,500, but only with 77 people, which is about what the con would fit at a real okay, squeeze yeah, anyway. Yeah. So it's kind of a Buy small... Buy them quickly if you're going to... Yeah. You want to come? Yeah. Yeah, totally. have to cap that. I've sold like a third of the venue already. Okay. Right. Yeah. And of right. course, the band, in order for me to do that, have all uh, waived their gig fees oh, for the great. night in the name of the film, which is really yeah. kind of them. Oh, nice. Yeah. Great. So 4th of August at the Con Cellar. That's the one. Great. Anything else? Or is that... This is it. sussed it out. So, this is it. Great. Well, thanks for joining me on the first ever mm. jazz podcast video. Yeah, it's been my pleasure. I'm not sure it'll be the last one. No? Well, good luck with the show, Dan. Thanks so yeah, much, Rob, and yeah. uh, see you soon. Until until Friday. Until Friday. <laughs>